All right. Uh, well, first of all, we want to thank you on behalf of the Nigan Placa, the indigenous people of this whole continent, for what you've added to, to our understanding of ourselves. Let's see, uh, your work, the work of uh, Jacques Soustel, Nigel Davis, oh, who's one of my favorite. Those are all friends yeah. of mine. Old I, I figured you'd know. Yeah. And then uh, uh, David Stannard, who's been one, yeah. uh, also one of the ones who helped inspire us in, in yeah. what we're doing. Uh, with all of these historians and archaeologists, um, um, you know, that comes the issue of, uh, for us, of, of the accomplishments of our ancestors, and and it's also finding out about the genocide that took place. Yeah. In, in context of all of this, um, I'd add one more thing. Yes, and that is uh, people who are not indigenous to the, to the New World mm -hmm. trying to take away your heritage from you by claiming, you know, that these are Vikings or these came from well, Africa. Yeah, well, that's where we met. You and yeah. I met. We met on that problem before. Or, or, you know, UFOs and the Mormons. Uh, no, and, uh, exactly. All, all of that. Uh, I had this conversation with somebody and I said, well, normally I just, I don't even want to get into the discussion. It's a, it's a, it's a fruitless discussion. They're not really. They, they, they've got their minds made up. And that's yeah, it. and you can't, they don't want to be uh, confused with facts. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I used to make, anybody who was a student, I made them learn or at least attempt to learn an indigenous language. So they didn't always have to do everything for Spanish or English, you know, the conquering people. Do it through the, the, the minds of, of the native people in their own language. And uh, that was important. I think you, you have to spend at least a semester or maybe two semesters going to some place that you teach in Maya, South Atlantic, or in uh, And uh, those people got a lot out of it. They really did. They so you have to deal with the, the native documents. Yeah, that, that's that's one of the issues, but it's, it's, it's kind of a two-edged sword, though. It's kind of like a, like one of the Zapotec speakers told me, yeah, we speak Zapotec, we live in a full-blood community, but we're saying all the same stupid things, the same ignorant things that well, they people don't say in feedback. Spanish. They don't get feedback yeah. from, the, the, you know, from the people who, who, who can read, let's say, by it or study Zapotec, well, all about Zapotec yeah. archaeology. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm, I'm talking specifically about Zapotec in the sense that they have a beautiful history, but yeah. they know nothing of it. I know. Well, it's not taught in the school in Mexico. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, 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 it is not. It's not, you know, a lot of places don't teach this kind of stuff. That's the thing to emphasize, okay. is, is teach people well, well, their own culture so yeah. they can participate. Okay. And we started we, with the Maya now. Okay. We have hieroglyph yeah. sessions. Then you can yeah, which, which we saw, we saw that beautiful yeah, like uh, video. Really yeah, yeah, yeah that's wonderful. Yeah, because yeah, uh, we were at, a, at another conference uh, at Cal State LA about a month ago, and uh, we had uh, uh, Eduardo Matos uh, Montezuma, oh, yeah. who, who was there, and uh, I asked him from the audience, uh, when will we be removing the Mexico City colonial buildings to reveal the Noche de Yes, true. Uh, and his response was, never. Yeah. Th those are the jewels of Mexican culture. Yeah. Well, they had that problem, which he was involved with, with the Central Mayor. Uh, they removed all of the colonial buildings that were on top of the Temple Mayor. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a huge uproar, as you can yeah. imagine, about yeah. that. He was right in the middle of that. Yeah. But it's very symbolic of the problems with Mexico, and yeah. actually, the, the, uh, well, well, we'll stick with Mexico, in that it's, until we can remove the symbol of colonialism, yeah. how are we ever going to get to the to be able to reconstruct ourselves if we have these obstacles 
burying us. Well, <laughs> there are ways to, to, to reveal what's underneath, mm -hmm. uh, but it's very expensive. Uh, you know, yeah. More well, liberation, you know, liberation for people is a very expensive uh, yeah. situation. I know that. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, of, of the countries of Latin America with large indigenous populations, uh, like Mexico, Guatemala, Peru, uh, Ecuador, uh, the, the, uh, the Mexicans were going a long way uh, 50, 50, 50, 100, or even 100 years into bringing the knowledge of the Aztecs, let's say, whoever it was, to school children, older people, and whatnot. If you go into the, uh, the Museum of Anthropology in Mexico, and you see these things, and they're, they're, they're seeing the real stuff. This is not true in other countries in Latin America. They know nothing about their past. They're not taken into it. The teachers know nothing, even the Oh, less than anybody. They know less than the children. But yeah. even the Museo de Antropología, it's going, well, look at what the Indians did. Yeah, we, we speak like we're Europeans and I know, we speak about I know. ourselves. Well, that's so, so, it, it, so it's not necessarily a solution even even no. when, when, when the materials are brought up. Yeah. Right now, here we are, we're at a conference. Yeah. Uh, we came at another one. Our people have no interest in this. I know. And uh, well, they want to look at television. <laughs> be, because, they're, the because they're very colonized and they've been taught to hate the Indian. I know that. Well, you know, there's a, there's a, uh, in Mexico, there's the Instituto de which was founded in the, by Cardenas in the early 1930s. And the program of that is specifically to obliterate. Native culture to, to you know to bring these people up to be Mexicanos right. by Mexicanos assimilation genocide assimilation. that's exactly what yeah. it is yeah. and uh, which is destruction they won't admit it but that's what it what it was but it sounds good it sure <laughs> sounds good you're trying to help these people yeah. by turning them into little Spaniards yeah you know? and and that's part of the problem yeah. uh, well, do you see any solution in that because the thing is what we're seeing is like presenting this question to uh, uh, Moctezuma, and yeah. with him, it's kind of like it's a, you know, uh, segregation now, segregation forever. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's part of the establishment. No, he is. He's he a is. Big shot in well, 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 the thing is, the Criollo still controls Mexico. Oh, of course. And, they. and you know, you can see that on Spanish language television. Listen, you can see it in uh, how it's uh, okay. I was invited by a, a, quite a lot of American archaeologists and anthropologists mm -hmm. to the big, under Lopez Mateo, to the opening of all these new museums, mm -hmm. and which were spectacular. Mm -hmm. And we were invited to the National Palace for the, 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 the Dia you know, del Grito. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, here we were as anthropologists in the middle of the people who run Mexico, all the big shops in Mexico. Mm -hmm. You hardly ever saw an indigenous man. They were as light as the driven snow. <laughs> George, Bush, George Bush could have been there. This is, I said, we thought there was a revolution here. <laughs> yeah. it, was a, it was an eye opener. Yeah. It, it so, so that was and your, that's the reality of yeah. Mexico. Yeah. And of all the countries of Latin It became very graphic for you in, in that yeah, situation. It was right there. Yeah. Who runs Mexico? Not the indigenous people, that's for sure. Yeah, because yeah, when, when we talk about, okay, taking back uh, the, the languages, not just the Nahuatl yeah. language, but yeah. Nahuatl is uh, lengua franca, you can speak a uh, yeah. yeah. language. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and because and, uh, in a way, when we speak Mexican Spanish, we have a lot of Nahuatl. I know that. And, and the Mayans have a, a scattering of Nahuatl and the Zapotecs, yeah. etc. But uh, as far as... Uh, Getting to the knowledge and appreciating the genius of these civilizations, it, it's something I don't hear from the professors at the MNAM. Yeah. I don't hear it. Yeah. Uh, well, that's the educational yeah. system. It's completely for assimilation. It, yeah. That's the official. And, and assimilation, assimilation is, again, you go by the, the definition of genocide, where you basically take the power away from people. It's not about, because people get confused about genocide just being about executing people. And, uh, yeah. uh, concentration camps and all, yeah. but it, it, when you destroy people's culture and their, their sense there's of a, identity. There's a term for this, ethnocide. Ethnocide. Uh, ethnocide. Yeah. I mean, that gets away with it from the blood and gore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, that's it's ethnocide. And it's, yeah. it's been in every Latin American country. 
and in this country too, for a yeah. long time, uh, it was ethnic pride. Uh, taking the people away from their own land is really the basis of that. Guatemala, for instance, uh, had a, back in the 19th century, they had a, uh, a kind of a revolution where, where the liberals came in. The liberals were all white. Everything was one of them. And the first thing they did was to alienate the Indians, the Mayas, from their own land. They got rid of all the people from the That was what they called the reform. What the reform was is making sure that the Indians the Mayas aren't going to own land anymore. Well, that's kind of like when we look at the future and we say, well, with communism we lose, with capitalism we lose. They're no better. They're no better. Because you can end up with... Stalin committed that on the side of the And, and uh, but, but if, we don't look at the future and we say, well, with communism we lose, with capitalism we lose. But but if we look at the, what's going on where the demographics are going in the next 50, 100, 150 years down the road, where we become a majority, uh, yeah. and, and we can work on reconstructing ourselves, obviously yeah. making up for the last 500 years, you know, because people think, <laughs> right. oh, well, you guys want to go back to whatever is a... Uh, a lot hinges upon what happens to the educational system.